This is another CQ Blind Hams podcast. Okay, good afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you may be. This is November Echo 5 Lima. My name is John, located in Mississippi. We're going to do a little demonstration here of the LTG talking watt meter the HF version which would be number one <clears throat> first when you get the box it's gonna have a metal box in it it's probably four by four five by five something like that <clears throat> and you're gonna fill it on the front of it it's gonna have three buttons and a knob and on the back of it it's gonna have two SO 239s and a power jack now in the box you're going to get the power cable which will not have any terminals on it you can either put power poles or terminals on it whichever you decide to do to hook it to your power supply and if you set it down in front of you where the knobs and the buttons the one knob and three buttons are facing you on the reach to the back and on the right your first SO239 is going to be going to your antenna or your antenna tuner amplifier whichever you know you have in line and the next one over to the left is going to your transceiver your radio and the next one over to the left of that is your power jack your DC power jack looking at the front of the unit starting from the right side going over to the left there's three buttons and a volume control okay your first button will be your SWR button the SWR is okay that will tell your SWR the next button over will be your reflected power See, I'm not having anything going to the unit, so it's not going to tell me anything. And the next one over will be your forward power. The forward power is? You know, nothing going to the? Zero point, zero watt. The unit there again. Okay, these all have dual functions. Say you wanted to use your LTG to tune your uh, SWR, you know, get it down to where it needs to be what you would do you hook it all to your transceiver and your antenna tuner or whichever boxes you know you're gonna hook in line with it and you put your radio your transceiver on CW or AM it has to be there okay all right that's where my that on 20 meters and then you will take turn your power I usually use 10 watts uh, to cut your power down on your rig and your radios in CW now what you would do say we go for the standing wave which is the one all the way on the right you hold it down for a couple of seconds and you will hear it make three beeps or a bunch of beeps like that rather Turn your volume up with the volume knob where you can hear it. And either key your radio or uh, push your transmit button on the radio like I do. And you can tune your antenna. Now, I'm going to mess my tuner up here just to give you an idea of what we're looking for. We're looking for the lowest, lowest tone that this radio is going to give us. And uh, that will, do you have... I'm not sure what kind of tuner you have, so I'm not going to go into how I actually tune my antenna. So uh, we're going to tune this radio for this particular frequency, and you'll hear what you need to look for. You want to try, as far as a blind person's perspective, perspective using a manual tuner. 
to get it right in the middle of each setting. Sometimes it's tough, but that's what you want to look for. You want to look for your lowest tone. And then you can unkey your radio. All right, now you are still on CWRAM. So we wanted to know what the SWR was. We're going to push. You'll push the SWR button again to get it out of that uh, constant tone mode. And then you'll push it one time, and it'll say the SWR is. Then you can key your radio, and it'll tell you. Here we go. Then unkey your radio. Now I want to check my forward power. So I'll go over to the second button, the third button, button all the way on the left. You push it. The forward power is 16 watts. Okay, that's about right for this radio. Now I'm going to up my power all the way to full power. And I'm going to check it again. I know what this rig should do when it's flat, so we're going to do the reflected or forward power again. Excuse me. The forward power is 113 watts. Okay, so that's exactly right for this rig, and I will show you what it does for the reflected power. The reflected power is 0, 0 0.0 watts. Reflected power is the middle button. Now, if you were tuning a uh, amplifier it would be just the opposite you would want the highest pitch beep if you were tuning an amplifier such as that out of the box instead of the lowest beep if you should forget to put your radio in CW or AM this is what you would hear so there would be no doubt about, you know, your rig is not in the right mode to tune. This is what it would sound like. Well, it didn't, it didn't do it for me, ha ha. But most time it'll just go. I must have it right on the money. Okay, and there are different setup options for this LTG one. If you want to change languages, okay, what you would have to do is unplug your DC cord. If you hold the first button from the left over in and plug it up, it will speak in English. The next button over will be Spanish, and the next button over will be uh, German. And also, it has different verbosity settings one speaks the forward power the swr the reflected power it'll speak all of that once you get more used to using it you can change that to where it just says you know 1.1 1 .1 to 1 or 60 watts or 0, 0.0 and the way you do that is you unplug the dc power and you hold the two far left buttons down and then plug your DC power back to it and it will throw it into the verbosity mode which only just says the numbers. And if you want to get it back to where it speaks at all, you hold down the two right hand buttons and plug your DC power back in. And that is pretty much what it is to it. I hope this helps someone, and uh, if anybody has any questions, you know, you can catch us on the blind email, uh, blind email group, or on uh, Blind Hams 31679. Thank everyone for watching and listening. Have a great day, 7-3, November Echo 5, Lima.